Are you tired of wooden chopsticks from your local Chinese store? <laughs> Do you like electricity? And fire? Then this is the project for you! So today we are gonna test which process makes the best rainbows on titanium using anodization, which is electricity, or oxidation using flame and heat. The electricity method is tricky because there's a lot of different variables that you can tweak for each setup. We're actually gonna test our techniques on titanium key rings before we anodize our chopsticks just to make sure we like the process first. The two biggest things that we're gonna change are the surface texture and the cathode selection, which is just a fancy way of saying that we're gonna be switching between using aluminum and stainless steel. For our second method, we're just gonna take a blowtorch straight to the chopsticks. In a well-ventilated space, Probably with a respirator. I don't have one of those. I can't see through these glasses. This is probably not safe. Do not touch this. I'm gonna start by etching just two of these. So when they start bubbling, I'm supposed to wait another three seconds. Ooh, look at this. Etched and not etched. So let's try both. Where's my titanium wire? Over here. I'm just gonna make a little hook. Maybe we can do two of these at once. Yeah, we can. I'm smart. I can do two at once. How am I gonna do two at once? All right, let's see. Yeah, that works. So I have a chart with um, different values. So these are the expected colors I should see when I have one battery, two batteries, three batteries, four batteries, all the way up to 11. Now, when I use two different negative electrodes, one is aluminum and one is stainless steel, I'm gonna color and see if the expected colors match whatever color the negative electrode provides and then whichever one I like better. So I think we're gonna start with stainless steel because I already have it ready to go. Okay, so the non-etched ones look a lot brighter. Check that out. You see that? Very cool. But they both turn like a golden, like a golden yellow. Okay, so let's mark that on our chart and do the rest. Cool, this is why we test stuff out. Oh my gosh, I love this, science! And now I'm gonna try it all over again with aluminum. After testing both cathodes from one to 11 batteries, I think I decided that I like aluminum better. It just has clearer colors throughout the whole spectrum because stainless steel kind of got muddy four through nine batteries in. So yeah, we like aluminum on a smooth surface. So that's what we're gonna use. I turned this drill into a pseudo lathe because sanding these by hand took way too long. Okay, I'm not gonna start it like this. I'm gonna start it like this. Okay. Wow, that's a beautiful rainbow. Let's try again. All right, are we ready? But the bottom looks super cool. And thankfully, they both messed up in very similar ways. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We will add the nail polish to the chopstick and it will be beautiful. While we're waiting for that, we can blow some stuff up. Being sure to clear the space of any and all potential flame hazards, most importantly my hair. Okay you guys, wow, this looks really cool. But I need to give it some time to cool. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. So I will say, with this process, 
the oxidation, the pinks and the purples are less vibrant, but the yellows and the blues are more vibrant. But you can achieve cool tie-dye looking patterns with your chopstick if you apply heat to a concentrated area. So yeah, definitely love that. Okay, so now we need to remove nail polish from the back of this. Now we just have to let that dry. For my final trick, I will attach positive electrode. So I achieved some gradient from purple to blue. That actually looks really good, guys. On a hunt. These chopsticks turned out much better because I made sure to firmly attach the titanium wire to the whole thing. We need to remove the nail polish using acetone-free nail polish remover. <laughs> I did, yes, if you're wondering, I did just smell that nail polish remover. Oh, I need to go back to work. And now we're gonna do the low voltage. So we're gonna take our stack of 10 batteries and pull it in half. not a fan. Let's do three. Let's do three batteries. We can't go back on to three now, but I've done this one. Maybe I can try the other one. Wow, that was the move. Oh yeah, that is it. <gasps> It'll just be like light side, dark side chopsticks. So here they are side by side. I gotta say, I love the splash anodized one and the oxidized one. I think your rainbows per effort uh, ratio is maximized with the oxidizing situation, but they both look great. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you learned anything or had fun with me, and comments which ones were your favorite. Maybe share it with a friend. You know the drill. All right, bye guys. <laughs>